Welcome to the a Certification Spoken Word Practice Test. You're going to want to open either WordPad or Notepad or even get yourself a pen and a piece of paper so you can write down your answers as you pause the video at the end of each question. And at the end of the video, we'll have the answers for you to compare to what you wrote down. All right? So let's go. Question 1. An example of virtualization software would be A. VCW Vicman B. VMware C. Azure D. Wireshark Question number two. The acronym WUXGA stands for A. Wide Unique Extended Graphics Auxiliary B. Wide Ultra Executable Graphics Array C. Wide Unique Extended Graphics Auxiliary D. Wide Ultra Extended Graphics Array Question 3. A user's onboard mousepad on their laptop isn't responding. What would you check first? A. The user's temperature. B. Driver configuration. C. Windows updates. D. The status of the on-off mouse switch. Question 4. A possible scenario when you need to boot Windows 7 from a USB would be what? A. Disable background services. B. Delete registry keys. C. For kicks. D. To do a system repair. Question number five. Windows 7 cannot sync with an Android phone. True or false? Question number six. You can turn on messages about Windows backup in which of the following? A. Default settings. B. Windows Update. C. The Action Center. D. User Accounts and Family Safety. Question 7. A very direct method of obtaining personal information and private information is known as A. Cyber Sneaking. B. Shoulder Surfing. C. Office Eavesdropping. D. Being Nosy. Question number 8. The definition of a thin client is A. A client who avoids high-calorie foods B. A client who has limited computer needs C. A type of networking cable that is thin and shielded D. A computer or program that relies on another computer Question 9 Apple's iOS and Android both have voice commands Dictation and Facebook integration. True or false? Question 10. A symptom of a hijacker would be what? A. Browser redirection. B. Missing fonts. C. Black monitor screen. D. Wrong boot sequence in BIOS. Question 11. To check the status of a disk, which route would you take? A. Start control panel. System and Security Administrative Tools, Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. B. Start Control Panel, Check the Windows Experience Index. C. Start Control Panel Status Checker App. D. Start Control Panel, System and Security, Ease of Access. Question 12. It is not possible to rename the Pictures folder in Windows 7. True or false? Question 13. Which of these tasks can be accessed within the Action drop-down menu of Device Manager? A. Show hidden devices. B. Scan for hardware changes. C. Customize. D. Find and replace. Question number 14. The remote assistance settings are limited to which of the following? A. Minutes, hours, or days. B. Seconds and quarter hours. C. Weeks to months. D. Hour increments only. Question 15. Windows Update's failures may be attributed to this. A. Wrong password. B. Connection-related error. C. Display settings. D. Improperly installed hard drive. Question number 16. Choose the correct examples of multimedia devices. A. A mouse. B. A joystick and gamepad. C. Webcam microphone. And D. Touchscreen. Question 17. 
What does the acronym VOIP stand for? VOIP. A. Visual Acronized Internet Policy. B. Visual Over Internet Prototype. C. Voice Outside Internet Protocol. D. Voice Over Internet Protocol. Question 18. You are watching another tech who is about to change swap out a hard drive. You notice he is wearing a heavy, long, dangling bracelet. How do you handle the situation? A. Compliment him or her on the nice bracelet. B. Suggest they wrap their wrist in anti-static material. C. Politely suggest they should remove their bracelet and be properly grounded. D. Quickly snatch the hard drive and tell them you will do it correctly. Number 19. Robocopy is an example of which of the following? A. Command line tool. B. Disk management. C. Printer configuration. D. A knockoff movie from Robocop. Question 20. An example of a run line utility would be A. Netstat. B. DXDIAG. C. Jibjab. D. 802.11G. Question 21. The Start Menu button appears on what versions of Windows? A. Windows 8. B. Windows 7 and 8.1. C. Only Windows XP. And D. No versions of Windows. Now here are the answers. Number 1 is B. VMware. Number 2 is D. Wide Ultra Extended Graphics Array. Number 3 is D. Status of the on-off mouse switch. Number 4 is D. System repair. Number 5 is false. Number 6 is C. Action center. Number 7 is V. Shoulder surfing. Number 8 is D. A computer or program that relies on another computer. Number 9 is true. Number 10 is browser redirection. A. Number 11 is A. Start control panel system and security. Administrative tools create and format hard disk partitions. Number 12 is false. Number 13 is B, scared for hardware, scan for hardware changes. Number 14 is A, minutes, hours, or days. Number 15 is B, connection-related error. Number 16 is C, webcam microphone. Number 17 is D, voice over internet protocol. Number 18 is C, politely suggests they should remove their bracelet and be properly grounded. Number 19 is A, command line tool. Number 20 is B, DXDIAG. And number 21 is B, Windows 7 and 8.1. Thank you.